day three of Nelsonville Music Festival and we're still here kicking. Absolutely we are. Can't believe it's the last day. I'm going to be a little melancholy when this is all over. It's been a lot going on, but you know, sad to see it go. Sad to see it go. Nothing to sleep on here. But uh, yeah, let's wrap up day three. Let's see what everyone's up to. I've been helping out with Nelsonville in a variety of ways through Zero Waste uh, event productions since 2014. Oh, wow. So, yeah, this is one of the original partnerships with the Rural Action Zero Waste Program. Wow. So Great. That's how they got started. And then the uh, Zero Waste Event Productions is a social enterprise of Rural Action. Very cool. Great. Very cool. So, do you, can you talk a little bit about the um, probably the key focuses of what the group wanted to accomplish for this year's festival? Yeah. So, um, zero waste is a term meaning that ninety percent of the materials collected at an event or organization or something like that is diverted from the landfill. Right. So that ninety percent point is really important. Um, and so, with that, like what we're trying to do is keep it at 90%. Um, higher is better. So in 2019, I think it was 93 or 94%. Wow. Nelsonville Music Festival has been amazing at, through the years, like increasing that diversion rate. Um, the audience members are a big key of part of it with um, keeping things off the ground, knowing what's compostable, recyclable, things like that. Um, we also work closely with vendors to make sure that they're using all compostable materials. That's a huge part. And so in grounds, what we do is we go out and collect and consolidate material from all of our bins. Um, and then we bring it to this sorting belt back here. And so on the sorting belt, we actually sort every single bag of wow, waste incredible. generated inside the event. Um, and that way we know it's 100% correct. Like the compost is going to Athens Hawking Recycling Center composting facility. So like they know that we're really good partners and they know that like they're, we're not going to give them things that have tin foil. All that. So right. we're very meticulous with that. Our recycling is also going to Athens Hawking Recycling Center. Great. Um, and, you know, landfill is landfill. <laughs> but very minimal of it. So, um, Incredible. Yeah, so that's what we do on the sorting belt. Uh, the sorting belt is very unique for this kind of program that it's like electric. We do usually have a solar hookup as well. Not this weekend. If we don't have enough use for it. But, um, so it is electric run. And then, um, you know, they're sorting everything off on it. It's also really nice for safety because if something comes down the line, like a biohazard, of right. sort, yeah. then you can just turn the belt up more and zoom it into the trash. Great. And has the rain affected your um, program in any other ways besides uh, the solar power? Yeah, rain um, Rain has a tendency to sometimes bring down the rates, mm -hmm. um, especially in the campground. If people are like, well, my tent's wet and the zipper's broken, I don't feel like packing it up. So they just need stuff like that. Oh, okay. That like take your take your stuff home with you, and that really helps. Um, and so, so but this crowd generally not too much of a problem with the rain. I think the other thing is that keeping the car more dry, so we get a true weight on it. And I should mention also that like after we sort every single bag, we weigh it on a scale, and so then we have our that's how we get our diversion rate. Oh, okay, so incredible. Based on how many audience members there are, we can even break that down to per person was X amount of recycling, X amount of compost, and X amount of waste. That's incredible. You're fine. I was wondering if you could speak to the uh, interesting, castle. yeah, your can uh, impromptu sculpture kind of. Was that intentional? Yeah. So oh, great. The Instagram Productions likes to do this at every festival that we work because um, it's It's a great visual reminder yeah. of the goals. I think yeah. it really catches people's eye. I know it caught mine. Exactly. And so this is cans only generated so far from in ground. Oh, wow. So that's that's not even. Mind. This yeah. Is people are drinking out in the campground. So we actually have a whole another sorting station set up in the campground. Oh, incredible. Um, we will be sorting campground recycling out there. Okay. So we'll have uh, weights for the recycling out there as well. We won't be doing a can pass, but <laughs> it's, it's always Still great work, yeah. And do you guys usually finish your part of uh, your task by the end of the festival, or does it take no, a little... clean up afterwards. Great. So hopefully by Monday evening, but it might go into Tuesday. That's where rain does really slow things down. Makes sense. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it's been so great speaking with you. Thank you so much Thank for uh, talking about the program. Thank and you. Hope you have a good rest of the festival. My name 
it's Nick. Great. And um, are you from the area? I'm from Columbus. Nice. Uh, yeah. So did the festival bring you down for the weekend, I'm assuming? Yes. Usually, I mean, I've come the past few times, and like our big friend group comes the past has come the past few times. We just started in high school, and then nice. all of us, for some reason, like we live in different places, but for some reason we all come back here like at least once a year, and we all see each other. Just No one texts each other, no one organizes anything, but right. for some reason we all find each other here. So. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah. Kind of like a, a siren song, come back anyway, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and so what groups have you seen that you really enjoyed? Uh, I saw a Japanese breakfast, which we were most excited for. Incredible. Matching hats, Matching yes. Matching hats, yeah, I had pointed out. <laughs> um, who else do we really... The Midnight Tent, the Hardy Tent, has been fun. That's what I've heard. Seeing, there's uh, been some crowd surfing some. Oh, yeah. We saw Dana back there. We saw... Um, nice. Who was the other... The D-Rays, I think, opened oh, for them oh, as well, oh. yeah. Oh, Super another fun. local staple. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, and how would you compare uh, past years to this uh, new location? Everything since you've been, you you were at the former location many times. Yes, I mean I I love the new location. I helped work some setup days for this. Okay. I've oh, I've been camping cool. out here since Monday, helping Tim set up stuff. Oh, and rock on. He's doing an amazing job as but as best he can. I mean things are a little rocky here and there, of course, but it's I think it, overall it's a lot better. Twice the space, much more grass. Um, the stages are in really cool spots. Definitely. Yeah. you guys doing and what are your names? Wonderful, I'm Lloyd. Uh, I'm Maggie and we're great, thanks. Awesome, and have you been to this festival before? In years past, I was here in 2017 and in 2016. And we came to Hocking Hills Festival last year. True. Awesome. Yes. Nice. How's this, how does uh, 2022 stack up compared to your last year? This is one of the best lineups I've ever seen at the Nelsonville Music Festival. I'm, I couldn't be happier. I was a little disappointed, as we all were, that Lucinda Williams wasn't here. Oh, but um, everybody else is p putting in the extra work to make up for that. Well, we're, we're both partial to the band In the Pines because uh, my brother is uh, also a local Cincinnati musician and he's friends with them. So we made sure to catch them and yeah. they were awesome. We walked in a little blind to the In the Pines show and they... They melted my so face. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. That's a rave review. Yeah. Well, what's your um, brother's band? Uh, they're called Co Etc. They're out of Cincinnati. Nice. Yeah, hopefully they'll be playing this festival next year. We'll see. Yeah. With any luck? That'd be great. Yeah. yeah. And so, how do you think overall everybody's been coping with the rain? It builds camaraderie. I think it yeah. brings us all a little bit close to, closer together. Oh, yeah, and I would like to think that yeah. not many people like opted out because of the rain. I think it's kind of rain or shine. We're doing this. We're all here. I'm sh I mean, we came from Philadelphia, so people are traveling oh, to get awesome. here. We have friends that like, traveled here from Salt Lake City. Like, yeah. people, mm -hmm. people want to be here, and I think the rain is just part of the fun. Yeah. And what do you think makes Nelsonville so special that people like yourselves are coming from out of state or across the country? Oh. Community. I mean, the people here, the community, like from the local vendors we have to the, the women over here registering voters so important i think it's all about community so that's what keeps us coming back and we also are ou alumni so oh fantastic. yeah <laughs> yeah, cool. yeah awesome well